guys, welcome to a new episode of Conflicts. Today we're taking a look at Rero, the award-winning robot from Ixin Robotics. Now this particular robotic kit allows you to construct your very own robot and program it without any screws or bolts. It's actually all snap on, which is really cool. Now the company itself created this cool looking kit that actually is a standard size kit that allows you to create different kind of robots that are pre-designed here, as well as creating your very own custom robot as well. So in this video here, we'll actually kind of build our own, as well as customize it, and then actually program it, and look at the new apps that they have as well. Now this particular company actually offers classes, so you can actually learn how to program your very own as well, and teach you about robotics too. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box before opening it up. All right, so this here is our standardized kit, which is actually $5.99 on their website. Now, it's not the actual lowest model, but it's actually a mid-grade just because you get more parts out of it, which allows you to build more complicated and more unique robots. So you got like a humanoid robot, uh, looks like a scorpion, an elephant, and so on. Now, if you go on this side of the box here, it does show what's included. So we get a controller sensor, a head module, a line sensor, an ultrasonic sensor, a touch sensor, as well as eight servos, among various other parts, including a claw and joints and whatnot. Now on the bottom here, it does show a little bit more and other kinds of robots you can build. So just it gives you an idea, obviously you're limited to uh, not just what's seen here, but more. Uh, then over here, it does mention that you can actually get access to the e-learning portal, which has 16 different lessons on how to build robots. So that's actually a very unique aspect you don't see too often with robots. Uh, in addition, there's actually an app that you can download on an iPad as well as an Android or even on a Windows computer that allows you to do coding. So it's really interesting. We'll actually go into that in a little bit. And lastly, there is a remote control app that you can download onto your phone that allows you to control the robot wirelessly. So let's go and open this up a little bit more and see what's on the inside. Okay, so this here, it looks like a crate that's included with the actual robot. So it's actually very nice just because, you know, it makes a nice storage facility as well as being able to put everything back after you're done playing with it. But let's go ahead and open this up and see what's in here. Okay, wow, this looks really nice. Um, so we have some stickers on the top here. Uh, just kind of like build your own robot today as well as I'm a junior robot maker. So very nice. Uh, then this here, just kind of like a welcoming you and exactly like how to register your robot and whatnot. Uh, then this is just talking about getting started and going onto the Reroll Re Creator app. Uh, just kind of talking about the courses as well. Now this is what we're looking at. Uh, so we have different parts here. So it looks like we have the control unit over here. Uh, so this thing looks really cool. Uh, looks like one of the old gaming consoles. It does have a touch screen over here, which is actually very nice. Uh, you don't see that too often with actual robots, so you actually can like display things and actually control the robot through this as you're actually playing with it, which is very nice. Now this here is our head unit, uh, so he has eyes as well, so you can actually control the colors of that. Uh, this looks like a tool just to open things up. Here are our wheels, it's got like a nice rubber finish to it. Uh, we have our ultrasonic sensors, uh, touch sens sensor, and let's see what's underneath this. Ah, here we go. So these are our servos. Now note, there are no screws. So literally, these are all just plug and play. Uh, so that's actually very nice. Uh, the wires are already pre-plugged in, so you actually have a nice concept of that. I actually really like the way they set this up. Uh, then we have some different pieces here as well. And let's see what's underneath this. So we have some more clips, more wires. And yeah, so we got a charger as well. And, and this is our wall outlet, so really cool looking kit over here. So let's go ahead and actually build something. With that being said, cue that montage. Alright, so Rero is finally done and I ended up going with the humanoid robot as you can tell. This thing looks really cool. Now he actually has a total of 8 different servos that we used on all of his limbs. So he got 2 per arms and 2 per leg. Uh, and everything is kind of connected from one arm a piece to the other directly to the head unit itself. Including the head itself as well. Now this actually controls everything, so you can actually customize your own programs and create own animations. Now note, if you actually have more servos, you can actually create more complicated robots, as well as different parts. 
Now over here is the charger port itself. Uh, this here is a reset button. You can actually connect to the actual servo itself using a USB port. Uh, over here you, un uh, you screw that open you can actually see the, see the battery pack itself. Now this here is just a lithium ion battery. It's a 1300mAh 11.1 uh, uh, volt battery just so you guys know. So let's go ahead and close that off. Uh, so now what we can do is we can go ahead and turn them on uh, by pressing this button here. And it'll start booting up. So you can actually create your own custom uh, like loading screen as well. Uh, so you have full control over the robot itself. Now the neat thing about this robot is that you can control it just using the robot itself. You don't need a computer. However, you can actually program your own programs using a computer software that it comes with. Uh, in which you can actually create a uh, motion that you can run through using the program itself. Now, in addition, there's a Bluetooth ver um, uh, module as well that you can use your phone and create animations on there and actually play them. Now, if you click on servos here, uh, or sorry, sensors here, it'll actually show the different sensors. So right now I have the head sensor selected. Now, this actually has a mic sensor as well as an infrared. And the numbers are actually changing as I'm talking. And if I go closer to him, the number will increase in terms of the infrared sensor. And then I can actually change the color of his eyes by um, selecting on the buttons over here. So I can make him um, green, say, for instance, or I can just keep him red or blue. So let's just go ahead and just leave it at that. Anyways, um, so there's the settings mode, which allows you to see the ID as well as the Bluetooth. Uh, you can change the brightness, volume. Um, you can put him on auto sleep and auto shutdown. Uh, then if you go into custom program here, you can actually run your own programs. Uh, but the nice thing over here is the motion button. Now the motion button is actually like a little game stick over here where you can actually create your own animations and program your own buttons using the computer as well as using what we have right here. So let's try this out. Now there's a button that says teach. So if I click on teach, uh, what I do is first click on a button here. So I'll click on Y and I'll click on teach. Now. This is frame number one. So what I can do is I can leave it the way it is and hit next. And then I can raise this arm here and then this arm here, see like that, uh, and hit next. Uh, I can bring this arm down, this arm down, um, hit next. Uh, let's see if we can do something like this here like that I guess and then hit next and then bring it back down uh, and then uh, we'll just do one of these and click next and then just bring it back to his normal stance and hit next and then I can hit stop now what this does is um, it just programmed all those uh, keyframes to that particular raw key itself so if I hit play on Y He'll play my animations over and over again. So really cool how that works out. That it'll actually, you can teach the robot how to do a motion and then it'll just keep repeating that motion. So if I just hit stop, he'll stop and I can reprogram it or I can create more animations as well. Now, as I said, you know, each of these servos are listed with the number here. So based on the rotation itself, it'll actually memorize it. So if I create, for instance, like a snake or something, it'll actually create a, ma a motion of it if I save it using a keyframe as well. So it's actually a very cool concept and it's actually very easy to learn. You don't need to know softwares or anything like that. So uh, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the actual software itself now. Alrighty, so this here is the software itself. Uh, we connected Rero using a USB port and then from there the software itself will actually pick up on it in which you can actually create your own motions. Uh, over here on the side it does show all the different servos. So what you can do is you select on a servo that you want to adjust and then you can go ahead and rotate the bottom portion of it down here. Uh, and you can actually register and create your own animation. So it's actually pretty nice, uh, kind of gives you like a step-by-step -step functionality. Uh, in addition, you can actually like name it, you can change the picture on the background and go a little bit more into details. All right, so this here is our planner software that comes with Rerail. Now what this does, it allows you to use the full functionality more in a graphic version. So what I can do is um, like for instance, if I click on play here, I can create a start button. 
Uh, so a start and then I can go ahead and click like an ultra sensor and connect the two and I can load up an audio functionality with it uh, or I can do a motion and then just kind of um, go from there. So the way it works is uh, you just go ahead and create your own function here. Uh, from there what you do is you upload it directly to the actual robot itself and you can actually kind of learn and create your own motions. Uh, not to mention you can program it any way you want using the touch sensors, infrared sensors, uh, color sensors, ultrasonic sensors, even line sensors. So, so much you can do with this robot. There's actually a lot of potential. So it's really cool. All right, well that kind of gives you an idea of what Riro is about. It's actually a really cool looking robot and it's a great learning tool. Uh, it teaches children about robotics as well as adults. Uh, it's a really cool introduction robot that I would suggest, uh, if you, especially if you're just trying to get into robotics itself. Also, if you want to create your own animations as well as your own motions, it's a great robot to learn off of. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.